Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at DynamoDB Query and Scan. DynamoDB allows you to read multiple items using query or scan operations. You can query a table or a secondary index with the primary key. Query operation finds matching items based on the primary key values. You can query any table or secondary index that has a simple or composite primary key. For query operation, you need to use the key condition expression parameter in the query statement to provide a partition key. Query returns all items with the given partition key. You can optionally specify a sort key and a comparison operator in key condition expression to narrow the query result. Query results are always sorted by the sort key. If the data type of the sort key is the number type, the results are returned in numeric order. Otherwise, the results are returned in order of UTF-8 bytes. By default, the sort order is the ascending order. You can reverse the order by setting the scan index forward parameter to false. Query supports both eventually consistent reads and strongly consistent reads for tables and LSIs. It only supports eventually consistent reads for GSIs. You can specify the search criteria using a key condition expression in the query statement to determine the items to be read from the table or index. You must specify the partition key name and value as an equality condition. Optionally, you can specify the sort key using comparison operators. You can use the equality condition to find the item exactly matching the sort key. You can also use the less than or greater than operator to select a range of matching items. You can use the between and operator to find items within the specific range. Key condition expression also supports string comparison. You can use the begins with function to find any items that have sort key attributes begin with a particular substring. The scan operation reads every item in a table or a secondary index. By default, scan returns all of the data attributes for every item in the table or index. The scan operation can process data in sequence or in parallel. DynamoDB distributes data across multiple physical partitions. A sequential scan can only read one partition at a time. Therefore, the sequential scan might not fully use the provision throughput. However, Scan operation can logically divide a table or index into multiple segments to allow workers to scan segments in parallel. For faster performance on a large table or index, you should use parallel scan by providing the segment and total segments parameters. The scan operation supports eventually consistent reads and strongly consistent reads for tables and LSIs. It only supports eventually consistent reads for GSIs. A single query or scan operation can retrieve a maximum size of one megabyte item or up to the maximum number of items if using limit parameter in the statement. You can use limit parameter to restrict the number of items to be returned. When last evaluated key is present in the query or scan response, it means there are more items to retrieve. You can use the last evaluated key to paginate the results. When there is no last evaluated key element in the response, it means you have retrieved the final page of results. Pagination can help you retrieve only a small number of items at a time. For example, if a full result set contains 10,000 items, you can paginate the results and return only 100 items at a time. By default, a query or scan operation returns all of the attributes for every item in the result. You can use the projection expression parameter in the statement to return only a subset of the attributes. You can further refine the query or scan results to return only a subset of items by setting the filter conditions in the filter expression parameter. You can only use key condition expression in the query operation, not in the scan operation. Only a partition key and an optional sort key are allowed in the key condition expression parameter. Filter expression is similar to key condition expression. However, you can use filter expression for both query and scan operation. A filter expression is applied after a query or scan is finished, but before the results are returned. Therefore, it consumes the same amount of RCUs as it's without the filter expression. Filter expression determines which items within the results should be returned, and discards all other items. For query operation, filter expression cannot contain partition key or sort key attributes. For scan, you can specify any attributes in a filter expression, including partition key and sort key attributes. Query and scan operations always return a result set. If no matching items are found, the result set will be empty. When a query or scan returns an empty result set, DynamoDB still consumes minimum RCUs, depending on the read consistency. A strongly consistent read consumes one RCU, and an eventually consistent read consumes half RCUs. 
You can use query or scan to count the total number of items. Counting items would consume the same number of RCUs as returning these items. It's subject to the same item size calculations. For example, if a scan operation has counted 100 items of 40 kilobytes, it would consume the same RCUs as returning these items. This is because DynamoDB has to read each item to increment the count. Using project expression or filter expression parameter may result in a small subset of items returned. However, it has no impact on the item size calculations. Query or scan operation using project expression or filter expression would consume the same number of RCUs as the full result set. In general, scan operations are less efficient than other operations in DynamoDB, as it always scans the entire table or secondary index. Filtering scanned results requires extra steps of removing data from the result set. You should avoid using scan on a large table or index with a filter that removes many results. For better performance, you should design your table and indexes, so that you can efficiently use query instead of scan. You can also reduce the result size by setting the limit parameter and implementing pagination. Pagination can help you retrieve only a small number of items at a time. When you need to scan a large table or index, you can leverage parallel scan to allow workers to scan multiple segments in parallel. For instance, parallel scan might be a good option, if you need to scan a table or index that is 20 gigabytes or larger, as you can leverage unused RCUs. However, parallel scan can use up all of tables RCUs. Other applications that need to access the table might be throttled. You should avoid using parallel scan on a table or index that has mission critical applications sharing the RCUs. In this episode, we've learned query and scan operations in DynamoDB. Query finds items based on the primary key values in a table or a secondary index. For query operation, you need to specify a partition key and an optional sort key in the key condition expression parameter. Query returns items based on the key conditions. Scan operation reads every item in the entire table or secondary index. You can use parallel scan for fast performance on a large table or index. You can use projection expression with both query and scan operations to get a subset of attributes from the result. You can further refine query or scan results to return only a subset of items using filter expression. You can also reduce the result size by setting the limit parameter and implementing pagination. Okay, that's all for DynamoDB query and scan. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudomy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudomy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning!